We're also heading out to Broadway as a, a new a star on Broadway there, and we are going to be joined now by Fox 5's Teresa Friolo and Leah Michelle starring in For Funny Girl, and it starts tonight. What's the reaction from crowds there as you're outside on Broadway uh, as this show is now opening up tonight? Andy, it is Leah mania. It is incredible the amount of people who have come out to support her. You could probably see the group of people behind me. That's everybody waiting by the stage door for her to come out. And by the way, she's probably not going to come out for another hour or so. We're hearing they have to have some sort of production meeting go over the show because this is Broadway. They have to, you know, they do performances day and night. So they have to do that before they'll come out. I talked to some fans who told me that they lost count of exactly how many standing ovations Leah Michelle received, but they I think it was about eight. They tell me unequivocally tonight that she proved she was born to play the role of Fanny Bryce. It's a performance at least a decade in the making. Since she exploded onto the scene in Glee, Leah Michelle has been gunning for a chance to play Fanny Bryce on Broadway. Tuesday night, this songstress got her wish. Despite the rain falling outside, Leah Michelle fulfilled that dream, surrounded by loyal fans who have been in her corner since Glee. Leah Michelle is an icon and we're excited. The childhood part of me that felt really seen by a show like Glee uh, to be here tonight feels really cool. Michelle comes to the role after Beanie Feldstein exited early. Beanie's debut was also hyped, but the critics panned her performance. The tickets weren't selling and the show needed a star. A modern day Barbara Streisand who popularized the role originally. It's a big bet that uh, one star, Leah Michelle, can turn this around. Leah Michelle has been promoting her return to Broadway on Instagram to her seven and a half million followers. Broadway producers are hoping the buzz here translates to the buzz here. My sixth sense about her is that she's going to be huge. And, 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 and I'm never wrong. It's something Karen Adima can attest to. Her daughter Effie is the Fanny Bryce understudy. She's out today with COVID, but Karen believes Leah Michelle is just what this show needs. She has a lot that she has to offer in terms of who she is and the notoriety that she has and the energy that she has and enthusiasm. And I think when you know that somebody really wants something as bad as she really wants this and has put all this time in and put this effort into it, you want this, you want her to succeed, you want this to happen. All right, Andy, I stand corrected. The second that you tossed to my story, all of a sudden we started hearing chants of Leah, Leah, Leah. She is outside uh, and I guess signing autographs. I can't see over all these people, but she's clearly talking to her adoring fans. All of the phones are out. She is giving the people what they want, which is a chance to see her up close and personal. One thing we do want to mention for anybody who might want to try to get a ticket to come see her here on Broadway, there's no word yet exactly how long this contract is going to run. So we know it started today, but we don't know how long she's contracted to be Fanny Bryce. We do know she's supposed to do seven performances a week. She will not be performing on Thursday. So if anybody wants to come see her, just don't come on Thursday because you won't get her. But other than that, she'll be here seven performances a week. Uh, and again, she hasn't gotten in her car yet. She was standing by the stage door and um, she's just talking to the people who not only have uh, made this performance a roaring success, but also made her a global superstar, a household name on Glee. Andy, back to you. Hey, thank you. I think she recognized that she was on live now from Fox and she wanted to get out there and get in the spotlight once more. <laughs> so I appreciate you so much. Uh, can you compare this opening? That's it. Obviously, this is an uh, ongoing show on Broadway, but it certainly sparks some energy. Can you compare it to possibly some other, it's not an opening, but other openings that you've seen? 
Well, one thing we can tell you is that um, when Beanie Feldstein, who was the uh, the original Fanny Bryce in the revival, this is really a revival of a revival uh, because nobody compares to Barbara Streisand. But when Beanie Feldstein took over, everybody was thinking that what Leah has done tonight, Beanie would have done. That she did so, she was so amazing in Hello Dolly uh, and in different TV shows that she would be able to create this kind of buzz. And what they told us was that this role was just simply not suited for somebody like Beanie. It didn't have her vocal range. This is a role that is for somebody like Leah or somebody like Barbara Streisand. Broadway is in a bit of a slump right now. They need people. They need superstars like Leah to draw people into seats to get ticket sales going. They're coming off of a really tough two years, not only with the theaters being shuttered at the beginning of COVID, really for the first, what, year and a half, but then also there have been so many rolling closures as people in the different casts get COVID. So it's been really, really tough to keep a lot of the shows, even the successful, even the hyped ones open. So we need more Leah Michelle's in stories like Funny Girl yeah, to no get way. the buzz going. But occasionally from time to time, you see celebrities create a buzz like this. And it's, you know, it's sort of what the whole industry runs on. Definitely. A very exciting night. Thank you so much, uh, Teresa. Obviously, a very exciting night. So uh, go over and say hi to Leah for us. We appreciate your, uh, your reporting here on Live Now from Fox. You got it. All right. Take care. Thank you so much to uh, Teresa Priolo there as we continue on. Obviously, Funny Girl opening on Broadway starring Lee and Michelle. She just came out and wanted to get on Live Now from Fox. Certainly a very exciting uh conversation there here as that what we do here on live now from from fox just uh, live raw and unfiltered even when leah michelle walks out the door to her adoring fans on broadway we were there live to cover it so certainly an exciting night we're going to come up with some uh, other big stories next on live now from fox we're going to take a quick two minute break though no.